So, there's a company in Malibu that wants me to go up there and interview on site to work on quantum computing. And, I don't know. I am back to soul searching about whether or not I should do it. Because I have tried multiple times <laughs> to just say, okay, I am going to, you know, stay on top of my mental health and I'm going to do a job and it's going to go well and it all falls apart. <laughs> you know, I end up just, you know, sometimes drinking and doing drugs all and always dysfunctional. And I don't know if teaching would be better, but I've kind of expressed before that I think it might be more my style. Because it's, a, I mean, it's just as much work, at least if you're doing your job properly um, and you're teaching a full, full-time full course load. Uh, so, it's... It's an opportunity I'd be crazy not to at least give, you know, at least go on site because I'm, you know, like I say, it's like I'm interviewing them as much as they're interviewing me. But I don't know if I would really do well or not. And it's like, I wanted to be a research professor, right? I wanted to be able to teach and simultaneously do research and I think I would have been happy at like a liberal arts college or ideally a like state university where most of my job is teaching students and I'd, you know, much rather it be a state university than oftentimes hoity-toity liberal arts college. You know, I want to provide the students with good value for, you know, their hard-earned tuition dollars. And you know, it'd be nice to be able to do some research, too. Um, but I didn't, my career didn't go well enough. I published a decent, some decent papers in grad school. But I just, in some sense, literally fell off the wagon during my postdoc. And my chance to be a tenure-track faculty at a university where I can do research is basically gone. It's just, I mean, it's just already so insanely competitive that there's no way. So now I kind of have to make a choice. Do I want to teach or do I want to do industry research? And unfortunately, the way it works is the, the law will let you switch to teaching, but they won't always let you switch into research. So if I make the switch to teaching, it will be likely be a permanent one. So I don't know. It's, it's, I feel like I can just kind of, you know, accept their offer to go up there and interview on site, but then have to ask myself what I really want out of life, and will I be happier and do more good for the world doing industry research or teaching students physics? because there's not much chance of really doing both. Like, yeah, I could keep doing online lectures while working at that place, but A, I'm not gonna have a lot of time or emotional bandwidth to do it. And B, or actually that would be more intellectual bandwidth um, and just general energy. And B, I don't know, it, it, it just wouldn't be, the, it, it wouldn't be the same. Um, Cause I, I just, I. I I love online teaching. I think it's great. I don't think you can really learn from it in quite the same way you can with like, um, like not necessarily in-person instruction in the sense of being there, but well, yeah, basically in-person instruction, like with one-on-one, -on -one, like, you know, one, like, you know, direct interaction with the person teaching you. Uh, and also, especially because, you know, I'm a scientist, not a mathematician, and I believe in teaching physics as science, not as mathematics you really need access to the lab equipment uh, and do like laboratory, uh, like, you know, tests to understand the concepts. Like, 
in a hands-on way as opposed to just doing the mathematics, although you definitely need to do that too. Uh, and physics is really all about bringing science and mathematics together. Um, and you, you can't neglect either side of that. And so you can, you can learn math okay from just lectures or honestly just from a book, um, but it helps a lot to have that in-person interaction, so I don't know.